You special and she reckless And babe, you're my bestest friend Yeah, she my bestie My love for you is endless Nobody else can end it we're off for the weekend guys, we're going to the boat, so I will be vlogging while I'm up there and we're travelling in style today, being as the weather's so beautiful, we decided to get the Aston Martin out for a little bit of a spin, it's been hibernating for over 12 months, so she's had a nice clean and we're going to give her a spin up to the boat yard, look at the beautiful weather, absolutely gorgeous today gorgeous got so much work to do in this garden oh hang on let me move my hand oh that's better i always do it don't I? <laughs> we've got so much work to do in this garden it's unbelievable but all the buds are starting to come back on the trees now yeah spent all day out here yesterday you know cleaning up the front and stuff like that after the storm where the slates had fell off the roof and everything so i can't wait for this weather to stay so i could spend more time out here so yeah and there's all the <laughs> look at the state of it all oh, that's got to be scraped off that's been made into a patio there's me eddie gerdie yeah so we've got tons of work to do this year but yeah the order of today is getting this beauty and uh, go and have a few days away. So I'll speak to you in a while. Listen to that beauty. I can see the pub from here. Where's the pub? Here we come. Happy Easter Sunday. We fell into the pub. <laughs> Cheers, my dears. Four pound ten a point. Daylight robbery. <laughs> hey, Bab. Les is the other side of the camera. I've asked him to make an appearance and he says no. So, there you go. I think he's camera shy. I hope you're having a great weekend, guys, and enjoying the, the weather. Although it's a bit cloudy here today, it was glorious this morning. Absolutely glorious, but I think we're we in for a bit of rain by the looks of it. Dark clouds are a gathering. It's well busy as well down um, in Borth. It's absolutely packed. We couldn't get a parking space. We pulled into a pub down there and we couldn't park, so we've had to come a bit further down the road to this one. But we're only having the one point and then we're going to head back. If you will be making yourself sick on chocolate. <laughs> Actually, I, I ate an Easter egg today. I haven't had one. I've got one. 
but one with me, but I'll probably eat it tonight. <laughs> Lizzie's laughing at me. <coughs> I think it's time for a fag. Dear fag. I'll go have a dinner. Guys, see you in a bit. <laughs> oh, a bean. Good afternoon, my darlings. Happy Tuesday. Yes, it's Tuesday. Hope you're having a wonderful day and have enjoyed your weekend. Uh, excuse the state of this. <laughs> I haven't done a thing today apart from uh, throw my clothes on and pop to the supermarket. Um, and I've got some gardening to do. I don't know what's going on with my top. I've got some gardening to do, so... I didn't see the point in, you know, getting all uh, glammed up to get in the garden. Les is already out there on the lawnmower cutting the grass. But I wanted to show you what I picked up in Morrison's today. I uh, went out for some bread and there was lots of bargains to be had. So I'm going to spin the camera around and show you what I picked up. Lots of reduced items, love it. So the first thing that I got was this whole Victoria sponge and it was reduced from £12 to three quid. You know, just couldn't leave it there, could I, for that. Picked up some tiger bread, 99p. That's the sea salt and black pepper one. Love that one. A loaf of Warburton's, which, much to my dismay, has gone up to £1.25 now for the loaf of that in Morrison's. And then I've got these. These are extra hot onion barges, 55 pence. Jelly Baby Chickens, these was reduced to 50 pence. And this uh, hot cross bun flavoured dairy milk 
was reduced to 50p as well. All the Easter stuff was being reduced. Then I picked up these Piri Piri chicken breasts and they was reduced from £3 to £1.50. I can smell them through the pack. I thought we'd have that for our tea tonight with some salad. Then I got this um, Welsh Dragon Extra Mature. Reduced from £3.4 to £1.7. Love that cheese. Some donuts. Got some, what flavour are these ones? Custard ones for Les. And strawberry ones for me. 69 pence now. Some Lenore was on offer. Two quid a bottle. So I picked up uh, the Love one. And the, um, what's this one? Gold Orchid. And that's the uh, exotic blooms, isn't it? Like the alien perfume. Some pears, 59 pence. And some sweet apples were 59p. And the Easter eggs was reduced. <laughs> so, these were reduced to £1.75. So I picked up a Whisper one. A Maltesers one. A Twirl one. And a Munchies one. They were all one pound. What did I say? One seventy-five. Then I picked up this big dairy milk one. That was reduced to two fifty. And then I picked up this giant dairy milk fruit and nut, and that was reduced from ten pounds to five pounds. So thought I had quite a few bargains there. Hang on, let me spin the camera. Yeah, I thought I got quite a few bargains there. I mean, we have got a load of Easter eggs already left over anyway. Les always buys loads and he gives them away um, to people. So, yeah, we've got a load in the cupboard and uh, them and for me. <laughs> and Les, the fruit and nut ones for Les and the, the whisper one. So, yeah, I thought I picked up a few bargains and I just thought I'd share them with you and include them in this little vlog. Um... I don't know what I'm going to do now. I'll probably fix myself up. Look at the state of me. My burn's nearly gone. I, I look an absolute mess. I've broke out all round my, my, um, round my chin here, and I don't know why. I really don't know why. I think it might have been being in the sun over the weekend, you know. So, yeah. I hope you're all okay. Um, I'm going to crack on with uh, whatever it is I need to do now. Put this shopping away and go out in the garden and um, give Les a hand. I'll show you what we've been doing in the garden as well. So I'll see you in a little while. We're in the garden now, guys. <laughs> um, I'm going to start at this corner here and then I'll take you all around the garden. I'm sorry if you can hear all the machinery going in the background. Les is cutting the grass and there's some work going on in the field next door as well. So, in here, hang on, let, let the, uh, the lawnmower go past first. In here, this was where we used to burn a lot of our rubbish. And it was full of trees all up here. It was full of trees. Hang on, let me walk up here. And Les has chopped all the trees down. So this is the perimeter of the garden here. And then uh, that's the farmer's field next door. And as you can see, there's some work going on um, in the field to do with drainage. So Les has chopped all these trees down from up here. That's, I don't, we don't know what to do about that holly bush. We might just keep it. But he's got a, a little bit more. He's going to like chop the tops off these ones as well. And uh, we're going to burn all this. Um, he's going to dig a big hole here and the roots off the trees they're massive he's going to put in the hole and burn them and then cover it back up and all the machinery is going to come in here we're going to take some of this bit fencing out so the machines can fit in here out of the way i'll show you why in a bit look at the size of the roots so he's got to burn all this which won't take long it's all dry um, a lot of it we're gonna this um he's logged some of it for the fire and the thicker stuff we're gonna log as well for the fire the log burner for over the winter and all the smaller twigs and stuff 
not the really tiny stuff but the thicker bits we're gonna use for like morning sticks to get the fire going so yeah that's what we're doing in there and all this machinery will go in there there's les on the lawn now look <laughs> Um, this has all got to be got rid of. This is just rubble. Um, so that's got to go in a skip. And then the garden goes down there. And there's the garage. And as you can see, the perimeter of the garden all the way around. And then it goes up here. And then this area here, that's just a trailer. That's going to go in that little bit as well. This area here was a nice little seating area with the, the chimney here. But we're ripping all that out that's all coming out all the trees and everything to open this area up and then we've got like a little wooded area here so this all needs tidying up as well we've got lots of like pallets and stuff and all the little morning sticks and things that have got to be all sorted out it's, it's like a little forest and then it goes all the way down the back here as well you can walk all the way through which I'm, I'm not gonna do shall I oh I can I can get through so you can walk all the way round look at that for a view beautiful and then this is all um, part of our land and then what it's gonna do in here see those trees in the middle they're coming down that green shed there that was what we used to keep the the lambs in um, but it's just full of um, machines and stuff now. But he's going to take all these trees out of here, the middle, and we're having um, a big um, shed put in there for all his, his big tools and machines that he's got. And then you can walk all the way. Ow, I'm stuck. <laughs> you can walk all the way through. Down here. Oh, I've got to get out of these brambles now. Hang on. <laughs> I'll go through this way. Tread on the brambles, that's it. And you can walk through the middle. It's like a little forest. But all this is going to be scraped out. There's an owl that lives in here. You can hear him at night. All this is going to be scraped out in a big, big shed going here. This is just all bits and pieces that I'm left over from um, the refurb bricks and stuff like that. And the old sinks that was uh, took out of the toilet. So, you know, we need a skip and it'll all be got rid of. Here's Les on his lawnmower again. <laughs> so all this will be got rid of in a skip. The old fashioned radiators that have come out. We did sell a few. Um, that's the only one that's left to sold a few on the marketplace. So yeah, that's what we're going to do with that area there. There's going to be a big massive shed. This is the community centre that's next door on our land. They built um, that a few years ago. And then here, that's a, like a little workshop, garage kind of thing. And then this here, this is my bedroom the windows of my bedroom and this just needs weeding and um, some flowers putting in it don't take long I normally put flowers in for the the spring and summer so that needs doing and then this area here this is like just a lean-to where there's just all well you can say cement mixer and scaffolding and all sorts of stuff in there so that's all got to come out and then all this here, so all this machinery will be up there in that corner. And then what we're doing here, all this is going to be scraped off and we're going to stone it and make it into a um, patio area. Those two windows there are coming out and we're having uh, big doors there. We might, we may even take all four out and have, you know, like the panoramic doors, we're not sure yet. But they, those, definitely those middle two are coming out so you can step onto the patio. And we're going to have like the table and chairs for eating, then we're going to have a sofa and um, one of those coffee tables with a fire in the middle, the old tractor, uh, like a little seating area. And down this end, 
we're going to build a, a kitchen outside kitchen area there with probably lot like um, what they're called pagoda pagoda pagola coming down over the top but as I say all this machinery is going to go up in that corner that I just showed you and I've also got the fountain to clean and um, repot all the flowers have died off now look at all the leaves and that in there so she's got to be cleaned ready for the summer for when we're having our barbecues and there's the the garage and that's about it really that's the plans for out here it looks a lot it is a lot um but you know we've got the summer now to to crack on they will say les is cutting the grass uh it looks like we're going to have a bit of rain to be honest the clouds are gathering and it's going to be nippy again this machine will go up in the corner that's um, an old um, army jeep of Leslie's. I can't remember what it's called now. Um, oh, it won't come to me. But yeah, that's Leslie's old army jeep. It's starting to rain. There's his uh, Aston Martin. I'll just show you in the garage because this has all got to be sorted out as well. It's one of his motorbikes. There's another one of his motorbikes. So we'll look at the state of this. And this has been tidied up, believe it or not. So yeah, there's another there's a Porsche there, another couple of motorbikes there. And then up here, I don't know whether it's gonna be too dark. Um, the space there was where the Aston Martin was and there's the Range Rover. And underneath here is our Bentley. So yeah, six car garage, but we're thinking of selling the trike um, because since Les had his art problem, he finds, of course, all the gear is at the front of the trike. It's quite heavy on his arms, so we, we just can't, he can't drive it too far. So we're thinking of selling the trike. Yeah, and that's the little, up there is the storage area that Les built in, like a little loft up there where we can store all kinds of stuff. So we've got, an, got our work cut out, guys. We've got a lot to do. But yeah, we're ready and all we need now is for the weather to stay, stay nice. And there's my Erdy Gerdy, where I uh, pegged my washing out. <laughs> yeah, so that was a little garden tour. Uh, let me know what you think of the plans. And all the leaves are starting to come on the trees now. They'll be, they'll be full soon. Shall I show you around the front garden? Hang on, it's starting to rain. Again, you know, there's lots of stuff everywhere. We've got to get a skip. These are all the old tiles. That's like a white shed. We call that the white shed, obviously. And that's just got like paint and stuff like that in. These are more old. Well, that's not old. That cleans all the edges up. I mean, it looks old, but it works. That is really old. Um, it trenches, makes trenches for you to put wires in and stuff, but it does work. Sorry guys, I don't know what happened then, it just clicked off. That's the view down the garden. That's where we have the Christmas tree down there, the outside one. Uh, yeah, more vehicles, Leslie's Rolls Royce, and the lorry that we use to put the Christmas tree up and stuff, a really, really old truck that is, um, from the 1900s. I mean, it uh, needs a, a lot of work doing on it, but you know, is what it is. Les loves his his vehicles and stuff. There's the little Mercedes trailer, motorhome, more car, and then this is where this is like the front garden. This is where our patio set is, which needs all jet washing now, and the um, barbecue needs jet washing and everything after the winter. Um, but this is going to be moved around the back onto that patio area and then what we're going to do is probably park a couple of cars here that we can't fit in the garage um you know uh, the army jeep and and maybe that old truck can come up here so it's off the drive yeah there's the the motorhome and this is the front of the property I have started cleaning all this out I've got to do a bit of weeding hoping that the weather gets uh, a bit better over the next few days so I can tidy this up it don't take long 
Uh, I mean, the majority of garden is grass around the back and Les keeps that cut. Yeah, um, this all needs weeding. Again, it doesn't take long because it's got all membrane underneath it. And then there's this little area here that don't take long to keep clean either. This is like my little area out here. I'll keep this nice and clean. And then you can walk all the way round round here this is the car park and all this is our land here but um the community built this um community hall on on it and we let them have this for the car park and stuff and then you come round the other side you can walk all the way around this is the other side of the garage this has got to have a new door new window and everything uh, the other side of the house where my little sitting room is and my dressing room there and little bathroom and that was the boys toilets and stuff there so all this has got to all be weeded and that round here like i say it don't take long once i get my back into it and then you can walk all the way around and you're back around the back of the garden so yeah it's quite big and it does take a lot of looking after and as you can see we've, we really have got our work cut out but we do enjoy doing it in the um the summer when the weather's nice we love getting out here and just get cracking and you know get it done but this is the main thing for us this year is to get this turned into a patio and uh, clear all that out um we're going to keep that for the time being i know it's a bit unsightly but we're going to clean it all out clean it all up and then I'm going to have like, because that's my bedroom there. This is off my bedroom. So I'm going to have like a little bistro table and fairy lights and stuff in there eventually. So, you know, I can come and sit out here of a morning and have my coffee. Yeah, so I've rambled on long enough, guys, <laughs> about uh, the plans for the garden. So, yeah, I'll see you in a little while. Hello, my darlings. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed this little vlog. There wasn't loads, but yeah, I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, as you know, we was away over the weekend. So I'm just recovering really. So uh, I thought I'd do, at the end of this vlog, I'd do the winner of the Easter egg. So this is the Easter egg that I'll be sending. Unless <laughs> it's in the background going, hey! Uh, the Easter egg I'll be sending out to one of you lucky people out there it's the galaxy enchanted eggs and can i just say thank you to everybody who commented on the easter bonnet maybe i should wear the easter bonnet while i'm doing the the um the giveaway what do you think les yeah yeah it's fine there's the front there we go so oh <laughs> it's got some kind of clip in my hair i've got take the clip out there's the Easter bonnet. Bloody hell, I'm so unglamorous today. I'm the polar opposite <laughs> to how you normally see me. Right, so let's crack on. I've got the random name generator here. I've put the video into there where all the comments are and it just says fetch. So let's fetch a winner. Uh, What's it say here? To select a filter you would like to use. Anything goes. Include replies. Yes. Okay. Continue. What's it say now? Pick a winner. Elaine Jameson, you're the winner. Love the bonnet. All you ladies have done great. A great job. Happy Easter. So, Elaine, Jameson, you're the winner of the Easter egg. If you'd like to get in touch with me, with your details. Yay! <laughs> so, I can send this out to you. Let me just fix myself up. God, I'm such a tramp today, guys. I'm ever so sorry. <laughs> but this is the reality. This is what I normally look like. When I'm all glammed up, that's not an everyday uh, occurrence. Right. So, yeah, Elaine Jameson, you're the winner, and uh, congratulations. So, that's it, my darlings, for this video. Um, I will see you on, what day are we on? 
What day is it today? Tuesday. Um, I've got some beautiful hair extensions to show you. And I've also got a sheen haul um, to share with you as well. So that's what I'll be doing um, probably Friday now before I do a video. It'll be the Sheen Hall, I think. I'll do the Sheen Hall on Friday. So, yeah, if you did like this video, please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. <laughs> don't forget to give me a big thumbs up if you haven't already. And also subscribe down below, nearly at 2,000. Um, not far to go now. And there's another fantastic giveaway for that as well, that beautiful music box. And also leave all your lovely comments down below. And I hope you enjoy the rest of your week and have had a great Easter and I will see you all on Friday. I love you. Bye.